Welcome back to Ansible's everyone. So I wanted to go over a couple things with you guys. I'm gonna go over Dwack and PHUN, very nice continuations from yesterday's video. Then I'm gonna go over the S&P 500 with you guys. The market has been very choppy. I'm gonna go over exactly which levels we're sitting at at this point in time, what exactly we're looking for to have a bounce back in the market. And all I ask in return for all of this is you smash that like button. And I do welcome you to the Instable's room in the description below, and you will never miss a break alert today again. So let's jump into this one. So I'm going to go over DWAC and PHUN with you guys here on the forward chart, looking at the swing trade perspective. So you guys can see those key levels that we're trying to break above to have that major breakout. And then I'm going to go over the S&P 500 with you guys. So you guys can see what kind of momentum we have in the market. And also before I get started again, I do welcome you to the Instables room. We mentioned pre-market news before market open every single day. Most breakouts have been pre-market news in the open. We mentioned any halts worth looking at throughout the day or any major breakout alerts worth looking at throughout the day. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss breakout of the day again. So as you guys can see here, we have Dwack to the left and we have PHUN to the right here, looking to see if we can continue on with this momentum that we had going to today. Again, we did mention yesterday that we were looking to see if we can break over 65 going to today. Uh, that $74 mark was our very key point that we needed to break above. And we are going up to test that level Going into extended hours today, we did get that break today, breaking over 65 and continuing on up. Now looking to see if we can break over $74 to get that major breakout. And we did mention that our confirmation on that breakout would be to break above our previous buy pressure point. As you guys can see, we are getting a continuation on buy pressure, which gave us this confirmation today. But looking to see if we can break above our previous buy pressure point that we had when we tested 65 previously. So again, we do have less buy pressure as we are breaking into new highs. So making sure we do increase in buy pressure, breaking above that buy pressure point that we had previously getting rejected at $65 is going to be very key here on the MACD. Again, as you guys can see, we are getting rejected exactly at 65 where we could not hold the body of the candle above here. And we do have that increase in buy pressure again, trying to break above with the buy pressure we had going to today. Even though we are breaking into new highs, we need to take to account that we don't have as much momentum as we had previously jumping up to 65. So that could show us that we're a little overextended here. We're going to see what happens going to tomorrow. We do need that increase in momentum here or else we will get rejected just over 74 or at 74, we will get wicked at some point in time if we do not get that increase in momentum here on the MACD. Now, as you guys can see here on PHUN, we are jumping back over the 20 moving average. We need the 20 moving average to cross back over the 50. As you guys can see, we are sitting still below the 50. We did mention yesterday that even though we have this 20 moving average below the 50, we could still have this continuation up if DWAC does continue. And turn off, that's exactly what did happen today. Now reaching that 315 level that we mentioned yesterday, looking to see if we can hold above. If we can hold over 74 with that confirmation on that momentum, then in my opinion, we could hold above 315 for more confirmation on a continuation, but still does need the 20 moving average to cross back over the 50. So only is a play when we do see more confirmation on Dwack is exactly how I've been playing into this one. So again, with that said, we do need confirmation on the MACD here, and we will have this alert set just in case we do have that confirmation on that major breakout. And again, we do not have news here. We are trying to merge with Trump Media Technology on Dwack, and until we do get that news, in my opinion, we won't have that confirmation on that strong major breakout. Making sure we have news here on Dwack is going to be very key. Until then, we're just looking for that increase in buy pressure day by day here, or else we could get rejected to the upside. Now, I'm going to go over the S&P 500 with you guys. I know the market has been very choppy. As you guys can see, again, we had a major pullback recently leading into Jerome Powell and what he might have to say about increases in rates. But yesterday he did speak. He didn't mention anything on increases in rates, which doesn't mean that there's not going to be increases in rates. It means that he definitely didn't want to talk about it, probably because he saw how bad the market was reacting to the downside. Side. He even mentioned a statement the day before he did speak yesterday, which was pretty big in my opinion and very much did show that he was at least looking at how bad the market was the day before he did speak and did not mention anything on rates the next day when he did speak. It does not mean that we cannot increase in rates, but it definitely means that we are going to be watching out for increases in rates just in case we do. As you guys can see, overreaction to the downside leading into possible increases in rates. So very much going to be looking for those increases in rates throughout the year if we do have any very much expecting that to happen in my opinion. As you guys can see, we are trying to stay within this range at 470. You guys can see our VPVR showing us the most amount of volume that was traded within the S&P 500. And as you guys can see, we are holding right above one of the strongest points that we have here, looking to see if we can hold over 470 and then looking to see if we can hold over 480 as our all-time highs that we have been getting rejected to the upside from is what we're looking for here. Pretty important that we stay over 470 and looking to see if we can get this 20 moving average to continue to curl up and break back over the 50 is exactly what we're looking for. So if we do not hold over 470, then we will be looking for a bounce back. So what we see here is a large amount of bears coming in and then a large amount of bulls, very indecisive on which price action they want to stick with. As you guys can see, we are looking to either retest 470 and then create higher highs and higher lows, looking for momentum in the market. So that way 
bulls do get more confident in the market or we do continue on up and we are going to be looking for a retest in my opinion here at 473 and then we are going to be looking for that continuation on that breakout if we do not break continue highs at 480 so we could break over this 473 mark and get rejected at 480 and then come back down and retest 473 and then have a breakout from there or we do continue on down test 470 and then create higher lows and higher highs so that way we get more momentum in the market we could consolidate more than this of course but we're just getting a concept here of creating higher lows and higher highs so holding 470 going to tomorrow is going to be very key but if we do not hold over 470 then we will be looking to see if we can hold over 460 and then 450 from there for that major continuation on down that we could have at 450 so making sure we do justify every one of our breakouts and making sure we do watch the market and how it does move and exactly why it moves the way it moves is extremely key and that's exactly what we mentioned in the instables room every single day go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout today again all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel all of you instables that have been coming over from the room and supporting the channel god bless you guys i appreciate everyone you guys every day seriously and if you guys do like this video it does help us find it and it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you guys and i'll see you guys in the next video